I'm going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's freebie, the uh, eight petaled flower coaster. And for that, I'm going to be using wash away stabilizer, my 4x4 hoop, my scissors, matching bobbin and thread, my batting and fabrics cut to size, and some masking tape or painter's tape, depending on which country you're from. First off, we're going to hoop two layers of wash away stabilizer. I'm going to trim off the excess here because it's a bit much. <laughs> I'm now going to pop that into my hoop and stitch round number one and that's going to give me my placement outline. You're now going to place your batting and your front fabric over the outline. And I like to hold mine in place with a little bit of tape. I'm now going to pop that into my machine and we're going to stitch round number two to secure the fabric and batting and it will also give us our placement line for the centre. We can now add our centre fabric and I place that over the centre outline and once more tape it down. I'll pop that back in my machine and stitch round number three to attach it. I've changed my thread to cream and we're going to stitch round number four next and that's going to quilt the centre of our circle there. If you want to add your own uh, embroidered motif in the centre, now is the time to do it. I'm not adding one because my, I think my fabric's pretty enough without it. So I'm going to now trim up around the edge of the inner circle. I've changed my thread back to orange and now we're going to stitch round number five and that's going to give us a zigzagging around the raw edge of the circle. It's now time to add our backing fabric so we're going to turn our hoop over and place the backing fabric over the outline and tape it down securely. I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and we're going to stitch round number six and that's going to secure our backing fabric. We're now going to trim off all the excess fabric and batting both from front and back and I like to start from the back because it's easy to forget about it. So I'm just going to remove the tape. I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and stitch round number seven and that's going to do the satin stitching around the petals. Next is round number eight and that's going to do the satin stitch around the edge of the circle. We're now going to free this from the hoop so I'm going to do this from the back. I'm just going to cut around the edge don't cut your stitching though. <laughs> All that remains now is to dissolve the wash away stabilizer. So I've got some water here and a cotton bud. And that's our coaster finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. 
Please do go along and join Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. It's really friendly and gives you great ideas and inspiration for your projects. And thank you very much for joining me.